Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you this software, it's called Convert and it is part of uh, the Image Magic package, okay, software. And as the name says, this uh, software, with the software you can convert uh, more than 200 formats. You know, I'm talking about images here. For example, you can convert vectorial images such as .svg files. You find many of these uh, formats in, uh, in Wikipedia, for example, in images from Wikipedia. And you can convert, for example, uh, SVG to GPG, okay, JPEG, or uh, also you can convert JPEG to PDF or PDF to JPEG. As I say, there are more than 200 formats. But it's also super useful because you can, by the way, manipulate also also a a file, you know, and you can also get a file from the internet and save it to your uh, to your computer. So instead of saving the file, you can actually save straight and straight convert it, you know, just in one uh, just in one command. What I'm going to do today is I'm doing that but I'm also going to resize the file and actually I'm getting an image from my phone so I'm streaming right now I'm, my phone is serving through a FTP server which is part of the Amaze file manager you can install it on Fdroid okay it's called Amaze I'll leave the link in the description by the way so right now my, my smartphone is serving you know and with my browser I can access my smartphone as you can see here FTP the the address and the port to my smartphone and then I have all the images here and I want a specific image this one nope I want this image but I want it 1080p and as you can see it's slightly bigger than 1080p you know it's bigger it's actually 2k I think 1,044, uh, 1440p, actually. So I want this because I have to post on my blog. I don't want it to be so, so big, you know, I don't need it. So I want just to be 1080p or also 720p will be ideal. Anyway, what they have to do, and by the way, if you're doing this with your smartphone, you need the server to be logged as anonymous. You know, if not, convert won't be able to, to do that with the command that I'm giving you. So copy this, the address to this file on your smartphone. And you want to type convert. Then the, the link, okay, the URL in this case, or actually the file in this case, as I said, FTP server. To my, to my smartphone and then the path to the actual image, the file. And then I want to save as rogenbrot.jpg. And actually here I want to resize everything. And I want to resize as I say 1080p. So 1920 per 1080. Okay. So what you need to do here, as I said, convert then the original file that can be also a file took from the internet. So it can be a link, an address to a internet file, and then your file. And here you can also convert. I can save, for example, as PDF here, or a PNG, you know, any other format that I, that I want that is supported, by the way. And here in this case, I'm, I'm resizing. You can, you know, crop, tilt, uh, and do whatever you want. I need to resize right now. So I'm going to press enter. And I made a mistake because I wanted to save actually in here. I don't want to save. I just save in my home page. Okay, so it's there. But I want it to be in uh, uh, pictures blog. Okay, I'm going to do the same. And as you can see, here it is. And if I open the file and I go full screen here, as you can see, it's 1080p, you know. It's not bigger than that. If I, I have to zoom to get it bigger. So by default, it's 1080p. And it's also, by the way, uh, like half the size. 
something like that because you also get converted maybe you get compressed a little bit even more so this is a super useful way and in this case I just show you to get images from your phone that maybe are too big you know you just need a smaller for your blog or for a thumbnail on YouTube you know whatever so without using cables or without pasting here, copying, pasting here and there and then resize everything, you can just use an FTP server. As I say, I'm going to leave the link in the description. And then using convert to do whatever you need to do from the image in your phone and save it as a rename, save it, convert, resize, everything with just a command, you know. All right, hope it was helpful. That was about it. I'm going to make some other video about Convert. You know, it's a very useful tool on Linux to have. And I'll see you on the next time, guys. Bye-bye.